Hey guys, welcome to Cora Radar, your one-stop shop for tips and tricks in the digital world. Today we'll show you how to fix iPhone cellular service unavailable after update. So, you have issues connecting to cellular data on iPhone after updating to iOS 17, 18, 26, etc. The mobile signal is full showing 4 bars but 4G didn't appear and the network stopped working. All outgoing calls fail and messages can't be sent. I know it's frustrating when there is no cellular data connection from the service provider after updating iPhone software. This video will explain the cause quickly and then show you what you can do right now to get the cellular data work again after the iOS update. Why is your cellular data not working on your iPhone after update? No cellular connection issue can be due to multiple factors. The cellular data feature is switched off. Your phone is out of mobile network coverage area. The carrier settings are outdated. The SIM card is placed improperly. The system is glitched. The installed update firmware is broken. There's a problem with the service provider or iPhone itself. Now, follow me to walk through how to fix iPhone cellular data not working after update. They work for all iPhone models running from older iOS versions like iOS 12 to later iOS versions like iOS 18. Besides, if you have any questions, write it down in the comment below and we'll reply to you within 24 hours. See if there is an update for carrier settings. Like your iPhone's operating system, the carrier settings also require updates. So, check if your mobile network provider releases a recent cellular update through the settings app. It can not only help resolve iPhone cellular data not working after iOS update, but also improve the overall network performance. Here's how to do that. Go to the settings app. Scroll down and tap general. Tap about. If you see a message saying carrier settings update is available, just tap update to continue and see if the cellular data works after the update. If you see nothing but some information, then move to the next solution. Switch on airplane mode then put it off. Toggling on and off airplane mode can refresh the network settings and clear unknown glitches. If you haven't tried it, give it a shot to fix no cellular data on iPhone after iOS 17, 18, 26 or later update. Here's how. Swipe up from the top screen to open the control center. Tap the airplane icon to turn on airplane mode for 15 seconds, then tap it again to turn off. Now, enable cellular data and see if it shows data service and starts working after the iOS update. Forget the connected Wi-Fi network. The current Wi-Fi network connection could sometimes interfere with the cellular data service. To figure out if this is the cause for cellular data no service after iOS 17, 18, 26 or newer update, go to Wi-Fi and forget the connected wireless network. Here's how to do that. Go to the Settings app. Tap Wi-Fi. Locate the Wi-Fi network your iPhone has connected and tap the I mark. In the next screen, tap Forget this network and choose Forget to confirm. Once done, check if the cellular service is available on your iPhone after updating the iOS. Force your iPhone to restart. Have you tried turning off the iPhone and then back on? If not, press some buttons to force the iPhone to reboot. It helps refresh the whole operating system and clear away bugs or errors. No data will be lost by using this way to fix cellular data that's not working on iPhone after update. Here's how to do that. If you own an iPhone 8, iPhone 10, or later iPhone models, press and quickly release the volume up button. Press and quickly release the volume down button. Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If you own an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus, Press and hold both the volume down button and side button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. If you own an iPhone 6s or older iPhone models, do this to force restart your device. Press and hold both the home button and the sleep or wake button. Continue holding both buttons until you see the Apple logo. Now the cellular connectivity issue should be fixed. Test to see if the cellular data network goes back to working on an iPhone that's updated. Take out the SIM card then put it back. Sometimes, the SIM card may be not inserted correctly on the card tray and can lead to iPhone cellular data not working after updating iOS. Try removing the SIM card then putting it back. Here's how. Get a SIM card ejector tool. Insert and push it into the small hole until the SIM card tray pops out. Take out the SIM card and wait for a minute. Then, put it back on the phone. Now, see if you have cellular service on your iPhone after the update. Bring network settings to the factory defaults. If the iPhone's cellular service is still unavailable after an update, time to rule out the issues on other network settings. To do that, the quick way is to reset all the network settings to give them a fresh start. 
as it'll stop all data connection and remove all the saved networks like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Make sure you save the connection details somewhere. Then, here's how to do that. Go to the Settings app. Scroll down a little bit and choose General. Then, scroll all the way down and select Transfer or Reset iPhone. Tap Reset. Find and choose Reset Network Settings. Enter the lock screen passcode and confirm to do the network settings reset. Once finished, switch on cellular data and open a browser to see if the data service is working after upgrading iPhone OS. Reinstall the iOS update firmware. As iPhone cellular data stopped working after update, the installed update firmware is also a possible culprit. Maybe the file is damaged and not installed properly. Perhaps the update isn't compatible with your iPhone model. Whatever. Try installing the latest iOS again. Here, we recommend putting your phone into recovery mode and using a computer to install the update. It's safe and the process can be going on without too much disturbance. Here's how to do that. Get a USB cable that came with your iPhone. Then, install and open iTunes or Apple devices app. If you're using a Mac running macOS Catalina 10.15 or later, you'll need to use Finder instead of iTunes. Once ready, connect your iPhone to the computer with a cable. Next, press some buttons to enter recovery mode. In an iPhone 8 and later models, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until the recovery mode screen appears. In an iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, press and hold the volume down button and the side button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. In an iPhone 6s and earlier models, Press and hold the home button and the side or top button simultaneously until the recovery mode screen appears. If you fail to enter the recovery mode, just try again or switch a cable. Once succeeded, head to the computer and the application will give you a message saying there is a problem and asking you to update or restore it. To reinstall the latest iOS on your iPhone with cellular data not working after update, choose update. After you finish all the on-screen instructions, the update process will start downloading, extracting and installing the latest iOS that's compatible for your iPhone model. This will take a long time like one hour or two. So, wait patiently. If you find the iPhone leaves recovery mode and turns back on, just repeat the steps above to boot into recovery mode again and go on. After the update, try to use cellular data to run a browser to see if it works. Contact a phone store or carrier company. If you've tried all the steps but no success, Unknown errors from the, the phone itself or the service provider may be contributing to the problem. In such cases, a call or visit to the repair store or carrier company might be inevitable. You can walk through their official websites online to find the customer service for further help. And there you have it, folks. We've reached the end of our video on how to fix cellular data not working on iPhone after update. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video is helpful for you. If you did, Please consider liking and subscribing to our channel for more tech-related content. Until next time.